So, the Firestorm trailer is finally here for Battlefield 5, and with it comes confirmation of just many, many things that have leaked or have been rumoured for the last week or so. I'm going to break down this trailer here and include as much information as I can gather from public places and highlight it all in this video on this new game mode. But in the interests of full disclosure, for those of you that follow me on social media, you will already know this, but I have already played the Firestorm game mode. Earlier this week, I attended an event at DICE where I got to play the mode for just a couple of hours or so, not very long at all, but I do have further detail than what this trailer actually reveals, and I can't discuss that in this video because there is an embargo on the footage I have and the information from that footage. So I know that's kind of torturing you, wanting to learn more about this mode and me not being able to tell you, but... I just wanted to be upfront and honest. I know more than what I can tell you in this video, but I will highlight as much as I can in this video right now, so you're pretty much as up to date as I can possibly let you be. I'll be highlighting important and cool things, but I might not be able to elaborate on certain features. And just so we know, headline announcement, the mode launches on March 25th. So, let's dive into things. First of all, the map is just, well, absolutely gigantic. This huge Scandinavian landscape, it's been built as our playground for Firestorm, and you can see these snowy areas over here, grasslands, forests, mountains. So it looks like the team at Criterion is going to offer plenty of variety on the Firestorm map. But what is interesting to me is that the Ring of Fire is already present on the map as players are dropping in. Now, I know this is just a trailer, so it could be for cinematic effect, but there's a chance that the ring is already set on the map when the match starts, and that's going to restrict the play area a little bit. But we're going to have to wait and see. It has been confirmed at this time that the duo's option for dropping into the map, so just as a pair of players, that's going to be coming in April after the initial launch of Firestorm, and the mode will be launching with squads and possibly solos in March. Duos comes a little bit later. Moving on here, these first few shots of the players on the ground, they reveal something interesting. The leaked information a week or so ago was correct on some aspects. Call-in reinforcements are a part of Firestorm. Here, one of the squads pops a flare calling in an artillery strike on the opposing house. So we can assume that the flare gun is being used here. The sound is almost identical to the one in standard multiplayer. Although there were a lot more reinforcements listed in that leak last week and some of those look set to be included as well. The Battlefield website is confirming that the V1 rocket will indeed be part of Firestorm. But in general, this clip here, it gave me a bit of a bad company vibe. The tension being used for a bit of comedy right from the start, and that sets a good tone for Firestorm. It's not your standard multiplayer game mode and things like tractors and helicopters being used. You know it's going to have a bit of comedy value. And right now, I do think Battlefield 5 just lacks a lot of that emphasis, that atmosphere, the tension. So if we can get some of that back with Firestorm, that's going to be great. Shifting forwards a bit to this clip here, whilst also confirming once and for all that you can indeed drive a tractor in Firestorm, it also confirms the inclusion of towable weapons and items. Here we get to see the field guns, but of course there are other options included in Battlefield 5 already, so perhaps we'll see those again here in Firestorm. A little bit more comedy thrown in by Ro killing one of the squad and then the dude on the back just blasting the others back to the lobby. But interestingly, you can already see the presence of destruction here in Firestorm. This is one of those key Battlefield features that we've all come to expect, but on such a huge, huge map, I initially thought that destruction would perhaps be toned down a little bit in order to ensure some, some good performance. But no, you can clearly see here in this shot and the previous artillery strike shot that destruction seems to be working in full force, and that could really change the dynamic of the Battle Royale genre compared to other games like PUBG, for example. They've got static buildings in that game and static cover. If you can just smash their hiding place out of the way, then I think in Firestorm, we're going to see a lot less camping and a lot more movement in general. There will be 17 different vehicles in total included in Firestorm, so plenty of stuff to use around the map, and one of those things is the helicopter. The leaks were correct, a helicopter is being included in Firestorm, although it looks to be a transport vehicle only without any weapons for the pilot. 
If you want to turn it into a weapon, players hanging off the side can use their guns and gadgets to aim at enemies. So if you've got a Panzerfaust or something, then you can probably use that to fire off some damage from above. And anyone out there who said there weren't helicopters in World War II, this is a real helicopter, by the way. This is the Fletner FL-282 Calibri helicopter, created by the Germans during World War II. Around 20 or so were made, and they were mainly used for reconnaissance, and its first flight was recorded in 1941, and it was the world's first series production helicopter, and it had a range of 170 kilometers and a top speed of 150 kilometers an hour. Hour. So a really interesting inclusion and I've got to say, if this thing came to Battlefield 5 standard multiplayer, it could really change the vehicle gameplay there. I know a lot of people miss using helicopters in Battlefield multiplayer games. If this got added into standard Battlefield 5 multiplayer on some new maps in the future, I think a lot of players would come back and try this thing out. So. If that's just a hint toward DICE to add that into the base game, <laughs> that'd be awesome. And we also get to see a shot here of the amphibious vehicle fighting against the helicopter. This is the Schwimmwagen, and it has four seats, and again, it does appear to be just a transport vehicle, but it looks like a properly good meme. Not having to leave this thing at the edge of a lake seems like a nice bonus. You can just drive it up onto the land and keep going. Can't wait to have a few rounds with this thing and maybe, maybe get a road kill. Moving on a few frames to this shot here with the sniper, you can see a vehicle being paradropped into the map in the distance. This might be another part of the reinforcement system where you can call in vehicles with the right equipment, but we don't really know that detail right now. And looking at the very blurry shape of the vehicle, I'm going to say that that's a tank. And the next clip confirms it. Sniper downs enemy squad member through the window, and you get to see the tank landing for yet another squad of players. Whoever's in the tank takes the opportunity to destroy the building the other squad is hiding in. Now, the idea of call-in vehicles, that has me excited, but also a little bit concerned. How do you balance something like that? Are they going to be the same as the artillery with a flare gun that you presumably find on the ground, or are they earned via confirmed kills or an amount of points that you get during a round? Right now, we just don't know. Next, we got the Ring of Fire again. Notice the thing destroys absolutely everything in its path? Yeah, that's going to happen in the final version of Firestorm. As the ring closes in, it literally consumes everything on the map, tearing it to the ground and scorching the land completely. If you're unlucky enough to be caught in the fire, naturally, you're going to be satellite as well. The thing looks just insanely scary, and it isn't one of those rings like in other Battle Royale games that can be really used as a tactic. The visuals of the flames and the smoke, that's going to completely obscure your vision in and out of the circle which likely is going to lead to some different gameplay styles being used. No more blue zoning for those PUBG players. This clip here confirms the existence of melee weapons in the game mode, one player tossing aside his weapon, which has got no ammo left in it, and switching to the most basic of tools, the shovel, to try and finish the job. Confirmed by John Stanley, a developer at Criterion who's working on Firestorm, you will have to scavenge and loot for different types of ammunition in Firestorm. Different types fit different weapons, and if you run out, you are going to have to switch to something else. The weapon is next to useless if it doesn't have anything in it. And this final clip shows yet another feature of Firestorm. These are the vehicle bunkers. The player has to open the doors to get into the bunker, and this one reveals a Sturmtiger tank, which is pretty cool in its own right, but what I'm interested in is what's happening in the background. There's this dull siren that starts sounding as the doors are opened, and that's going to alert enemy players to what's happening here. That's an interesting spin on the Battle Royale formula. Objectives have already been confirmed for Firestorm, we already knew they were coming, but being able to do certain things and unlock cool loot, this looks like one of those things, but the environment looks like it's not going to be on your side and it's going to let people know where you are if you go for an objective. So. I'm interested to see how Criterion kind of balances that one. Maybe the power of the vehicle outweighs the downside of letting people know where you actually are, but time will tell. So, finally, plenty of information about the Firestorm game mode. It's nice to be able to talk about some of these things now. DICE has confirmed that they will be releasing a new roadmap for the Tides of War next week, and that's for the entirety of Battlefield 5, not just Firestorm. We're going to get more details about Chapter 3 Trial by Fire 
and future chapters as well. So, by next week, we're going to have a much better idea about where Battlefield 5 is going. Personally, I'm hoping for more multiplayer maps, more weapons, and factions coming to the game. I'd love to see some new armies introduced, or maybe a new theatre opened up in the next couple of chapters. Now, I'm also going to be releasing gameplay of Firestorm next week, along with my impressions and thoughts. That's the video where I can then talk about everything I haven't been able to talk about in this video, so be on the lookout for that one towards the end of next week. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.